Hi, my name is Adam Mason, and I'm the new cellar master here at De Morganson, having replaced Carl van der Merwe in early May. And I'm Danny De Waal, I'm viticulturist at De Morganson, just about on the six years now. So I'm really lucky to be able to work with a guy like Donnie. He grew up here um, on the Sellenbosch Clough Road. He is a member of the well-known Duval clan. So it's amazing to have a colleague who knows this area as intimately as Donnie does. Uh, I thought before we taste the wine, um, it'd be interesting for me just to give a little snapshot of, of what I've noticed since I've been at De Morgan's On. And uh, being a, an avid bird, birdsman and plantsman, um, it's amazing to work in an environment with so much natural bounty. So we're right on the edge of the Bottler Ray Conservancy and it's an, there's an incredible uh, bounty of bird life. Um, I've been amazed having seen Malachi sunbirds, um, double collared sunbirds, there's some beautiful um, yellow-billed kites. And then and, um, there's also some, uh, some snakes here. Okay, I haven't seen the snakes yet. Um, as I was saying, the, the, the fish eagle, the, the, the jackal buzzard, which has now made its nest in the tree. And there's also some, uh, some roikat you've got to watch out for. Okay, I haven't seen the roikat yet either. Look, it's clearly a very wild place. And I think that's what, part of what makes the Morgans on so special. And, and there's some spiders as well, so just be careful. <laughs> All right. So Donnie, um, I think Donnie's trying to scare me into <laughs> saying in the cellar, but I'm definitely going to come and visit you in the window, Donnie. I'm going to make myself a vinet pest. Um, Donnie, if you could maybe say a couple of words on, on what makes it such a special environment to grow grapes. Hmm. Yeah, I think uh, really nice and cool south-facing slopes, like you just said. And then in the, in the winter, um, we do get the nice rains that we get in the Cape to... Uh, Replenish the, the, what do you call the, 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 sub, the subsoil <laughs> levels. And then uh, as we go into the summer, uh, we get cooled down by the breezes from the Cape, especially being on the hillside where we reach up to about 370 meters above sea level. And we do get cooled down with the breezes from the, from the False Bay. Yeah, which you can see from the top of the village, Absolutely, right? yeah, yeah, you can see the whole of False Bay uh, down to Cape Point on a nice clear day. And, okay. and over to the wine now. So, what we're going to try, uh, or what we are going to taste and what you are going to taste with us is the Reserve Chenin Blanc from the 2018 vintage. I think the Chenins were, was, were fantastic. Okay. We had a, a, not a big crop. It was what the crop was quite light. Okay. Um, the ripening was quite slow um, because of the cold nights and vines protecting themselves during the day. It was it was a longer ripening season for the Shannon specifically. Um, and definitely, the, the wine has a very very beautiful fragrant uh, sort of um, citrus, notchy peel, uh, orange blossom type uh, citrus aromatic which is very, very common to Shannon, uh, or very typical of the variety. It's also got some nectarine fruit, which are some stone fruit, which I find very typical of the variety. Um, and especially with the older Shannons, you often get a lot more uh, weight and texture on the palate, which this wine has in abundance. Mm, and it seems to like linger in the mouth and just hang with you. It's beautiful long finish. Yeah, that kind of sums the wine up. Delicious succulent fruit on the, on the nose, there's a wonderful pithy uh, mid palate and an exceptional length on the wine. Mm -hmm. It's our showcase Shannon Blunt from De Morgan's on. Cheers. Cheers.